Thanks for tuning in to your day off podcast, hosted by your boys, Corey and Tony. I think by the end of today, I might have another best friend. They're committed to making you fall in love with the hair industry, one podcast at a time. Uh, you're going to grab a lot of information. Yeah, you're going to learn a lot. Presented by Hair Industry. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Your day off podcast will begin after a word from our sponsors. Welcome to your day off. My name is Corey. And I'm Katie May. I'm supposed to say Corey Gray. Oh, sorry. My name is okay. Corey Gray. I'm Katie May. All right, cool. There, we good? <laughs> we good. Awesome. Got it. Hey, so uh, so we're um uh this is uh once again uh hopefully our short uh, 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 a a short uh, a short podcast. I tripped you up. For the, I know you totally messed me up now. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. That's what it is. Hey, uh, so um once again, this is Vision to Venue. Um it, it's it's our conversations about what we've learned when we've um when we've created these events. This by no far or any information that you get here isn't the only way to do it, but it's just the way that we've done it. It's kind of the learns that that we've made um along the way as well. I'm pretty excited about today because i think this probably should have been the first one you know but uh but probably you know, exactly it's, it's, <laughs> it's when it, it's when we're, we're at that dash between the vision and the venue you know we talked a lot yeah. about vision before so we're kind of at that dash now this is kind of the work that it you know the, that it is that, that that you need to account for i guess yeah um and and you know again just some of the learns that that that, that we've learned along the way How, yeah Learn, I love it. Learn, yeah, me too. Um, so today we're going to talk about ev- um creating a budget and event budgets and and again the way that um kind of the way that we we set up our budget. Uh, it, it, it's going to be a confusing conversation. I I can pre-apologize already. Um, but you know we're just going to kind of go through you know a line item thing about you know what we um what we account for. Um, we're not going to really get into like hard numbers. I mean, we'll, 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 yeah, we'll play examples. with some imaginary numbers and, and examples because you know everybody's budget's going to be a little bit different. Um, but that's definitely the way. Um, I mean, that's the way that we've kind of learned this thing. I also think for us, like this is our example, right? We've talked about it before. Yeah. We've done Presley Poe and Friends. This has been our tried and true, our flagship. So this is what we have to share and just take this and thrust it into your own yeah exactly and and also you know if if, if the event space is um is someplace you want to be i, th- I think there's some really good especially if you've never done one you yeah know, from from um we're doing our fifth our fifth pressy poem from, def- I know, that's crazy to think about but um which is definitely our flagship uh, uh event um and this is kind of what we've learned along the way um and i mean i'm gonna start off i'm gonna uh, well i'll open up with this and the from the very first year that we did this, what we didn't understand um, that we do now is that you can actually budget for your profit. You can actually budget for, and now it's literally the first line item. So we sit down and we go, okay, how much money do we want to make? And then we make that our first um, line item. So, you know, if we want to make $10,000 um, for the, for the event, actually, I'm not going to use that as an example, but if we want to make a couple thousand dollars as the example, <laughs> as the example, that's our, that's our very first line. So we go, we want to do this for 2000 bucks. Now I will, I will tell you this, that whatever your profit budget is, you're going to work way harder than you've ever <laughs> Ever worked for for that money because you know we haven't quite figured out how to make a whole bunch of money but we've 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 well i think for a long time we didn't account for what we wanted to make we were just putting on this event and you know we know we have something awesome that is not really being done anywhere else Mm -hmm. in the industry and that's what our focus was now that we've learned and we've gone through this and we've done multiple budgets and we understand a little bit more and we have these kind of plug and play systems Mm -hmm. We can now talk about the budget and what we actually want to make within that budget. So it's an line item, just like you said, yeah. as along with everything else now. And it's the and it's the first line item. And, yeah. And you know how we did it before um, is that we were like, okay, well, if we do this event and there's any money left over at the end, that's what that's what our uh, that's what our profit is. You know, so that's um, I'm going to advise against that. Mm-hmm. You know, that's um, not a great way to do it. <laughs> yeah, it's not a great way to do it, and especially it's not a great way to do it because. Um, you put in a ton, a ton. I can't, I can't, I can't over or under emphasize how much work goes into, uh, to doing your own event. Well, just, you know, we're literally either on phone calls or in this setting, in yeah. this room, at least once a week for the entire year. 
Uh, yeah, well, and at least is at least. I mean, at we're, least we're always on calls and stuff. But but you know, I don't I don't want to discourage. I want to encourage. No, that... You know, but but with the encouragement, you know, um, uh, again, don't don't wait till the end of the day to get paid. I think what we've learned is is you get paid on day one, not on the last day. I um, mean, then if there's anything left over after we've already budgeted in our profit. Now that's, that's your profit, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's your business profit. Um, or that's, you know, that's just, that if there's ever such thing as extra money, I've never believed in extra money, by the way. But that I know that's it. why we don't make any. <laughs> we don't make any exactly. So, uh, so yeah, the, the very, 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 very first line item is profit. Is it worth it? Um, um, so, uh, when you're setting up your budget, so we sit down and we go through each item. Now, again, we've done this for five years. So we have, we, we at least have a strong understanding of what our line items are. Um, and that's kind of what we're going to share. Cause it's been five years of like, oh, that's a line item. Oh, that's a line item. Oh, we didn't account for that line item. Um, and that's probably why there wasn't, um, at the end of the day, a lot of money left over because we didn't have a basically it was like how much money can we grab and how much money can we spend you know well, so and we create a line item for everything so that's what we spend right it's like whatever you map out that is you have the money allocated the budget, for these right? things that's exactly literally the budget. so if you put that profit in there then it you know it doesn't matter where it goes for us we think it should go at the top should be the first and that's very sound advice we've gotten from many people throughout the industry so Gordon. do that <laughs> <laughs> but you know if it's on there then you're you putting money towards it that's exactly right mm -hmm. you know and then it becomes yeah. a line item right exactly yeah. so uh so the first big one actually is you know once you've kind of decided that you want to do an event um the the the, the first place is to go find a venue mm -hmm. um because venue is going to dictate a lot of where your budget's going to be um because i'm telling you like venues can cost you venues can be from free to 250 dollars to twenty thousand dollars you know <laughs> like 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 um venue is the big kind of like the big, the big swallow, right. Mm -hmm. uh, of finding the, the place and not just finding the place, but finding, finding the right place. Um, and you know, that, that all depend on what kind of, uh, what kind of, um, event that you're going to do. But the very, very, very first thing that we look at is like, okay, what's the venue, where's the venue, what's the venue going to cost us. So, um, that's the first line item, um, that, that we use. Um, Oh, I'm going to backtrack a little bit. Sorry, Katie. I'm, I'm throwing this off. We're, yeah. We're okay. Squirrel. The place. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> Been doing a lot of that this morning. I know. So, um, so it's really important, and a lot of people do this, you know, they kind of set it up differently, but what we've kind of learned, too, what's helpful is once we have a working budget, so once we go through all of our line items and have and know exactly how much the uh, the event, including Profit First, um, including all of that, what we do is then that's how we set our ticket prices up. So it's not like this, like, arbitrary, like, like oh, let's just do it for, you know, 50 bucks or whatever. Um, what we've learned is that if we do our entire budget and then uh, set our ticket prices up according to that, um, that, that, that makes more sense, um, for that. So what does that mean? Like if you plan on selling a hundred tickets and you know, your, your working budget is $10,000, that means that every ticket that you sell has to be at least a hundred dollars. Now, you know, if you want to run some deals or something, you know, like, let's say you want to do 10% off, which would be a $90 ticket or, you know, 90 and some change ticket. Um, I would set your ticket price at like 110, just so you're averaging a hundred bucks, whatever that is. You've got to get to that hundred dollars per ticket um cost. And then that's that that that's kind of your budget. And what that also does is then if you get any if this is your route, like you don't have to get sponsorships, you don't have to work with brands, but if you get any sponsorships or brand um brand um support, uh what What's really nice is now you can like maybe raise your budget a little bit. So yeah. you know, as we get into it, we're going to talk about like food and stuff. So, you know, you can, I mean, I'm going to throw that over to you, but you know, like if you wanted to do like a, a, a buffet, which is going to cost you like, you know, 10 bucks a plate or something. Um, and then if you get like a big sponsor and you're like, Oh, wait a second, maybe we can have this thing catered or maybe we can have a plate or, or whatever. Then, then, you know, that's kind of how we, um, our, our extras is always about like, again, the extra money that we get from, um, from sponsorships. And that's yeah. how we, that's how we elevate it depending on sponsorship. I think we just kind of roll through the list and we'll just kind of add some stuff as we mention them and these can be like kind of basic a basic list for that's people. it so our let's do it our first two line items are profit and our our venue their venue and yeah we'll those are probably the biggest anyway right <laughs> no 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 i think the third one is our biggest oh come on oh av yeah 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 so the deal with AV and, you know, I'm talking from ego here a little bit, but like, I'm always shocked at how much AV. Costs. Uh, yeah. Agreed. You know, like, like I always think it's going to be like, Oh, no problem. We'll set up a couple cameras and stuff, but for whatever reason, sometimes the AV actually costs us more than the, the, yeah. the venue. Yeah. And it's, um, 
with the AV, it's one of those things we've talked about it before. You have to have it, but it's not like this glorious, pretty glittery thing that you're adding to your show. It's just a necessity. I mean, we did, I mean our AV last year was uh, was glitter and we added to the show. Yeah. What you consider AV maybe is a little different from what I consider right. AV. I think it's a necessity and it has to happen. Yeah. And that also does, that's just AV. So that's just like production. That's like setting the lights up that's like having a camera on it's 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 mics. having mics work and stuff like that that if you're going to hire like a dj or you're going to hire like a band it doesn't include that you yeah know, for a sure a av is just the ability to to do to do all the of hook that. stuff up so yeah exactly so <laughs> av av is another big line item like i said it, it always seems to be way more expensive than i think it is and i'm not by the way i'm not saying it's overpriced that's not that's not what no I'm no no it. yeah i'm just saying that it's, it's just more, more expensive than you think. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, the first year that we did this, I was it was literally more than the venue. It was almost twice yeah. as much as the venue, and we were in a 1,200-seat venue, and it was almost twice as much just for the AV to them. Now, sometimes you get AV with a venue mm -hmm. that can be included, but don't think the price won't jump up because you're using their AV. <laughs> I mean, that, 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 that that's a great point, too. And, yeah. you know, with AV come people, so with AV comes people that you now, um, that you have to pay. You yeah, know? And, yeah, yeah. And, and, and AV people aren't cheap. Yeah. Nor so should they be. Yeah, no, no. And then, so, of course, DJ, we said, and uh, photography uh, or videography. Mm -hmm. That's always important. Even if you're only having 10 people there, you need lots of images and, you know, it's proof that it happened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and and with the photography, um, not so much with the DJ. I mean, I think the DJ just creates the ambiance of the evening and, mm -hmm. and, and what it is. But, again, it's not something that you have to have, but it's something yeah. that we have. And, 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 you know, that's how we do up hottie there. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, videos and, for, and, 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 and photography. Again, if you have somebody that's really great at that, that they can capture it. I mean, it doesn't have to be fancy. You can do it, you know, literally right from your phone. If you yeah, have or, like, interns good. from the local college. Like, they're, you know. The, the, you can get a lot if you get two or three of them you could get them for like 200 bucks for the whole night you know and just get a ton of images but you know you'll get at least something you can use out of that and when when you work with a photographer they're going to ask you for a shot list so uh just a little information yeah, about that that's um, a great point so uh you, um you know kind of think of what your shot list is what is that you know for us it's like make sure we get pictures with the artist make sure we get pictures with the with the attendees and the artists together make sure that we get pictures of the attendees having fun um but most importantly, if you're working with brands, have a shot list for all your brands and, and you know, how, how, how are the brands being represented and give that those shot lists to your photographer. Well, and what's cool about that is with the sponsors, you know, on the higher packages, you can get, offer them the images that you have that go with like the higher ticket priced sponsor. Does that make sense? Sure. It does like the well. sponsors that give you more money, you give them images. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you make that a value. Yeah, you make that yeah. An ROI you definitely. Make that, you know, for 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 the brand. Um. Yeah. You can do that. So, uh, you know, if if you're gonna hire a photographer, or even if you're not gonna hire a photographer, I would definitely have a shot list together, particularly if there's people that you need to share with, i.e., brands, i.e., whomever. Um, and yeah. you know, maybe even I don't know if this is passe or not, but you know, even have a hashtag set up, you know, for your attendees to kind of use, like, you know, yeah. as, as they're posting stuff. No, I love that. Um. Okay. So food and drink we touched on already rentals that's well, like i want to get more into food and drink oh um, what do you want to talk well, about well I, I just want to reiterate again that like you know you can do this as cheap as you possibly you know like a mm. hundred bucks a couple hundred bucks you know you can go get some trays at, at costco um or you know if you get some nice sponsorships and then you know maybe you can have it um, more catered out now with the cost of that you know we what we've had is we've had the cost be you know a couple hundred dollars you know whether we're getting bagels at like einstein uh, bagels or it can be uh you know four or five thousand dollars if we're having like um like lunch boxes catered or even more if you're having like an actual plated or seated dinner but but you know just that that's a good that's a good and a scary expense because you can pretty much do it as cheap as you possibly can you know for like again a couple of costco or a couple of like trays that you, that you can give out or you know you can be as fancy as you want as having like a wait staff and in in, in plate at dinners you know just depending on what your event is but um but you know it, it'll go from like a a brush off expense of a couple hundred bucks to like holy cow this is the entire event um well but, and what's so cool is as you get more sponsors you know say you get like a big like five or ten thousand dollar sponsor you could put that completely into food and create more of an experience with that if if that's something that's a high priority for you yeah absolutely absolutely mm -hmm. Okay, can I move on now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, rentals. Rentals is a weird thing because it's also things that are don't make it fancy or cool, but 
like we or, or things that we rent are um like red velvet ropes that kind of mark stuff off or trash cans yeah. like big gallon five gallon 55. you know whatever <laughs> that's huge trash cans so you make sure you do you know have enough table things like chair. that i mean kind of mm -hmm. think you know kind of think about like i think the, the way that i see it is that like when you go to a wedding like what's there mm -hmm. you know if there's a table there you've got to rent those if, if if you need to rent chairs sometimes you need to bring chairs into a venue you need to rent all those chairs in the venue um if you're or what a uh, high top high top tables and you know anything like that you have um you need all that stuff as well yeah uh decorations on top of that yep. adding to the room trash cans trash bags we just added that in there uh cleanup we always hire a cleanup crew which actually because we use the temple and downtown frederick they have someone that sharon really likes so we hire them out but i mean that's like a good 400 bucks right there so if yeah. that's something but, but you know, that comes down to value too, you know? So, you know, again, for us, it's like, you know, we spend three days in the temple. We, we, we mess it up pretty good, you yeah. know? So, um, but the last thing we want to do is, is be there for four or five hours afterwards, you know, scrubbing floors after an event. So, you know, that to me is it's like a higher a, priority for us, totally a higher priority. And, um, you know, our goal at the end of Sunday night is just to kind of get out of there, you mm -hmm. know? So, um, by, by having a cleaning crew there, um, we can just get out of there. Mm-hmm. Uh, insurance always have insurance um insurance is um for our events it's not super it's not terribly expensive you know it's like it's like four or five hundred bucks um uh for like the two-day event um and we uh and for the two day event it, uh, again it's just peace of mind like you know if anything as a matter of fact most venues and the temple um they they require that we have insurance so that's not that's not a that's not a here or there you know you have to buy insurance and even if they don't require to buy insurance you know for a couple hundred bucks i would buy the insurance it just it, it's peace of mind and, and if anything yeah. if somebody falls down a step or something like you you don't want to um you don't want to own that yeah um okay so then helpers or volunteers Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, that's it. I mean, we, 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 we've been very fortunate where people want to help out again. It's very helpful that we work inside of a school um, because we have a lot of, uh, we, we, we just we have a lot of people access have access we have access to people and people who want to help that yeah. like students and they want to be at our event and meet these people and be helpful and and uh and they learn a lot even just watching or, or being there so absolutely and and you know particularly for us you know working with artists and stuff like we we're working with artists that people want access to and you know so we can kind of give them access to them if they come and you know help us out and you know we we don't really like uh, kill anyone i don't think we should probably bring them on first but we don't really did ask them. i know but when it comes to Dre, decor Kristen. I know, right? <laughs> but when it comes to decorations or setting up chairs or whatever you know it, it's that kind of stuff it's that kind of stuff that like um you know whenever you do an event you have to or when we do our event you know we have to account for literally like a hundred hours hours in two days so you know out of those hundred hours in two days like we need to have a hundred hours worth of like a, a, a of man of 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 of, of help mm -hmm. you know so th that's that um but again we've uh we've been very fortunate that people like working with us and 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 they they, they seem to come back year after year probably uh, for you katie yeah definitely uh <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> um, okay, these two kind of go together, transportation and uh, housing or hotel, like if you have to put anybody up or get anybody or take care of Ubers, that kind of thing. Yeah, hotel rooms, Airbnbs, uh, yeah. Ubers, whatever. You know, again, a lot of this, um, depending on your brand relationships, um, you know, this can either be covered by the brands or if you're bringing someone in, you know, wh what's it going to cost you, you know, and this is on sidebar from like what you're paying them to come in. But um, if you're paying uh, artists to come in, if that's the type of event that you're doing, you know, like, um, you know, what's it going to cost you in day rate? What's it going to cost you in, in flight? What's it going to cost you to bring in? What's it going to cost you to feed, you know, all, all the things. And then what, what's housing. Um, we do something a little unique uh, with our event is we get a great big house and we put all of our artists in one house and we just, we, we, we have a slumber party for the weekend. Yeah. We um, kind of make them co habitate yeah exactly well, weekend. and you know i mean that could be a whole nother that could be a whole nother podcast but like what is whoa it's important that the artists work well together yeah you know? and 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 with presley poe and friends you know presley's like oh yeah i've worked with that artist i love that artist you know and that and that's kind of the angle that we go through um we would never crowbar i mean well here's actually the rule here's here's a little rule uh katie presley and i um will sit down and we'll um, you know, go over like, you know, who, who's on our artist hit list? Like who, who do we want to work with? 
And um, the very first time that we go through the list, it's um, if anyone's like, yeah, or feels mad about uh, about working with a certain artist, then they're just taken off the list. There's no like nobody yeah. debates it, nobody whatever. OK, that's it. We, we we have enough that we can go through. And then, you know, we kind of get down to like, OK, these are these are the artists that's going to make this really special. And again, through the eyes of the attendee. But, um, you know, also some artists are harder to manage than others. I'm being honest. I actually like that about us, too, because like. Presley can be 100% transparent, and so can we. Yeah. So we have very honest conversations about that because we are doing something specific here. And, you know, it's special people that we bring in to do this. And, um, yeah, and it's got to make sense. It's got to make sense. It's got to make sense for the event. Um, yeah. If you've ever been to our events, you, you, you kind of know what that is. You know, um, it's, it's, uh, it, it's, it's arms and hearts wide open, you know? So, so, you know, if that, but, and honestly, that's kind of the, the, the funnel that we go through. Yeah. So the last one we have is marketing, um, which is, I think, I don't know, again, can be one of those things where you can put a lot of money into it or a little yeah. money. It's just how high it is for a priority mm -hmm. or a priority of yours. Um, but then we also said, uh, as our last thing is 10 per 10%. <laughs> account for overages just oh, yeah. in case. Dude. Well, I mean, I think I think that's a general rule, right? Like, like yeah. even if you're having construction done in your house, or even if you're having land landscaping done at your house, you know, it's always wise to add ten or twenty percent of for overages. You know, you just don't yeah. know. You know, um, we do our budget every year, and every year, um, things tend to be a little more expensive. So, they do. You know, so well, and listen, this list too is like uh, very general, right? Mm -hmm. Like you can get deeper into each one of these, or there's other things that we're not accounting for. Um, so this is just kind of to give you all just a general list of where to start when you're when you're planning these things but definitely keep that in mind like what's high on the priority for you what's most important for you what's what's you know what do you want to have at the forefront what's what do you need more of what do you need less of you know for sure for sure for sure um yeah so i mean like like katie was saying this is like a a, a general um you know conversation about about what our line items are and what our but and, and how we budget stuff um so yeah, uh, if you uh, it's a little longer than ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, Katie's a little long winded. Um, but, but yeah, uh, uh, once again, I hope you find value in this. Um, please reach out if you have any questions or yes, or, or please DM. send us the DM so we can yeah. answer questions or elaborate on things, whatever you guys want to hear about. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Let's definitely do that. So uh, once again, I, I love the name, by the way, Vision to Venue. I don't you know, so know. once again, this is our Vision to Venue, you know, uh, budget thoughts. I think budget thoughts, right? Like, like, how are you thinking about budgets? All right. Thank you, guys. Hopefully you found some uh, some value in this. And until next time. Bye. Bye. Oh, good luck with your event. Good luck with your event. Oh, yeah. yeah good luck there with you go. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this episode and you'd like to help support the podcast, share it with friends, give us a rating and drop a review to listen to all the latest podcasts. Please subscribe from your favorite podcast outlet and to stay connected on and off the show. You can follow us at hair on Instagram and all other social media platforms. Thanks again. And we'll see you next time. Peace and love.